That's my business. You don't get it. 
Girlfriend, you're playing with fire. Girlfriend, chill. When the time comes, she will be the one doing the begging. You know. Did I hear you right? Wait, who told you that my first priority this semester is to call you on arrival? Ah, you must be kidding, baby. Really? Do you believe that you can believe anything? What's your stress? My stress is I've got a lot of things to do, Mark. So? So? I've got a lot of things to do. I don't have your time. Christy, you see, I wanted to come here without calling to surprise you, but I can see it isn't a sound idea after all. Yes, it is a mistake. As you can see, I am not bloody surprised. Lord. Okay, I'll see you some other time. All right, you can jump into the library for all I care. Bye. Bye, Mark. Okay. Bye. Christy, what was that you just did? Like what? That was Mark. So bloody what? You don't treat guys like him that way. Girlfriend. If you have a man like Maxim beside you, you can spit on the ugly face of the president without even leaving to regret it. Okay? I love surprises. So it's all right. I'm glad you're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got this for you. Oh, okay. thank you. But where's baby? Oh, baby's in the room. Oh, let me go. Let me go see that story. Right, let's go in. Oh, oh, come cool. on. Okay. What about school? Fine. Everything is fine. Christine, um, how did you cope with my husband? Cope with him? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, when you went to give him the letter, hope he didn't embarrass you. Embarrassing? Why would he want to do a thing like that? <laughs> oh, come on, Christy. You know you can't predict Maxim when he's under stress. I know. He didn't do anything like that. He was very kind and hospitable. Yeah. Oh, that's gladdening. <laughs> and uh, even I, I went to a, a restaurant close to the house and I met this group of girls and they were discussing about uncle and I pretended as if I didn't know who they were talking what? about. What were they saying? Um, they said he is a very wonderful man and decent oh. and very modest. Oh, come on, Christy. You are making me feel like a princess. <laughs> oh, man, man. Well, here I am, worried sick. You really got a gem in Uncle Maxim. Yeah. Like I told you earlier, he's a gift from God. He is. Well, I'm so glad I'm happy. You know, you both get along fine. <laughs> you did? Yeah, well, oh no, not exactly. No. It's so, come on, it's okay. I mean, Madison is a good guy, you know.
you look worried. What's eating you? Nice. Your husband? Yes. I should rather think anyone with the kind of a husband doesn't have anything to worry about. Not anymore. I don't understand. Azuka, you know we were in school together, right? Yes. And we used to be conscious of a man. Despite the negative notion of people about IMT ladies. We may not have gone with what. But certainly we used to be streetwise enough to dictate men with dubious character up their sleeves. Men like Steve. And Donald, you know him. Yes, Donald too. Asoka, my husband has completely lost interest in his family. Mary, why are you talking like this? <laughs> you won't believe me. Maxon left his phone to ring all through without picking it. You don't say. This is this eight months in Port Harcourt now. And he has just visited them twice only. Did you say eight months? He has completely abandoned his kids. His children. I can remember when he used to tell me that he will find a school for them there to change. Now all he's telling me is that he's even better off here in Enugu. What are you sitting down here doing in Enugu? Why don't you pack your things and then move into what happened with him? That's the problem. He wouldn't let me. He wouldn't what? I said, what do you think? What do I do? What do I do? Mary, I think you've got a very big problem here. I used to think that you are in the same cooking class with Mary. I know. Now I know better. She's not in your league. Are you certain about that? Cross my heart. <laughs> Talking about your wife, Mary. You're seriously speaking? Yeah. I think there's something you need to know. Which is? You know she's my school mother. And she hardly hides anything from me. I know all that. <laughs> it's no news. Yeah, but back in, in school, that is in IMC, mm -hmm. she was dating someone. That's not a crime. I dated too. Yeah, I know it's not a crime to date before you're married, but it is when you're married and you're still seeing someone. Are you trying to insinuate... I am not trying to insinuate anything. I am stating a fact. Alright. State it. His name is Donald. They dated back in IMT when they were in school, and I'm very sure they are still dating. Still date him? Yes. I didn't tell you before, but but I've gotten close to you and I've realized that you're a loving and caring person. And that you don't deserve such treatment. So why are you telling me now? Because I love you. And I don't want you to be made a laughing stock. You see, I didn't want to tell you. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I it's okay. Sure it's, I it's, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, it's okay that you, you told me. No matter how badly it hurts. Oh, my God. It's okay. You better move in your things. I should. Yes. You're going to what? Move in with Max and Christy. Are you insane? Yeah, just lay off me. Why should I lay off? Because it's not your goddamn business. That's what you think. Actually, it is not what I think. That is what it is. I 
least I know his wife. So bloody what? She's a nice person for goodness sake. She's done so much for you, she doesn't deserve this form of favor. I think you should just stay out of this. Okay? You mean... You mean you're this heartless? What do you mean? Enough to know that you're playing with fire. And take it from me. It will definitely burn you. It is you and your whole family that the Holy Ghost fire will consume. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Look at who is calling Holy Ghost fire. Eh? See, I know what your problem is. Jealousy. You're just bloody jealous. No, <laughs> jealousy. That's what your problem is. It's like I scared you, right? Well... Well, I... the guilty are always afraid. Afraid of what? Oh, no, no, never mind. Hmm? Never mind. It's all right. It's no problem. Um... Honey... <clears throat> honey, I'm... I'm two months pregnant. You're what? I said I'm two months pregnant. I wanted it to be a surprise. Whose surprise? His or mine? <laughs> well, I haven't done this kind yet, but it's yours. I'm not talking about the fetus. I'm talking about who put it there. Who put it there? I, I, I don't understand. Who is the father? What? Your Donald, of course. Jesus! <gasps> oh, yes. You think you can hide it from me forever? Oh, come on. Listen, maybe you now pay me back with infidelity. Oh, you oh shut up. You know you're so good you can pass an audition in Hollywood. <gasps> I wasn't born yesterday. Maxine. Oh, yes, I wasn't born yesterday. Maxine. 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 To be. I don't understand you. I mean, isn't it better we pack our things and, and, and follow you so that such allegations won't arise again? Listen, I would have loved you to come with me, but I haven't even settled in yet. Besides, my company is planning to send me on a course in Lagos. The course, I'm told, is not going to last less than three months. So, it's not my fault. Please, when actually are we coming? I don't know when the time is right, I'll tell you. Honey, you know why I'm saying this. Let's not allow the devil to enter this family. Whoever has said that, maybe somebody sent him or her. You never can tell. Yeah, even if they sent them, leave it to me. Okay? Leave that to me. Let me sort that out. When the time is right, you come over. Please. What about a kiss? I'm running late. Potakot is far. Did I find it? What can I help you?
You're welcome. Thank you. Um, honey, I need a hand with those things in the car. Okay, no problem. Mom, where's everybody? Oh, they have all gone out. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, my son, please sit down. Did I hear him call you, honey? Mm. Yes, mama. But he, he say, is he not that uh, Mary's husband? Mm. Yes, but... But what? Somebody's husband? Mama, please. It doesn't matter. What, 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 what is the problem with that? He has money. That is all that matters. I mean, he wants to die in poverty. No. Who has to die? Stop worrying. I'm grabbing the opportunity like you've already preached. Kyo, if you say so, so long as you know what you're doing, there's no problem. Let's go and unpack what he bought for us. And don't give me that face. So smile. Okay. you here. I have a very big problem. What is it? Christy, my marriage is blowing up in flames. How do you mean? It's like I'm losing my husband day by day. How? I, I don't understand. Christy, he has completely abandoned his matrimonial duties and paternal duties too. Maxon does... I'm sorry, I'm... Uncle doesn't... Yes, he doesn't want us to relocate to Buttercup with him anymore. Oh, uh, well... I actually think it's better you give him a break. I mean, the other time he mentioned about a course in Lagos. Yes, yes, but... No, I, I, I think since he has not yet officially settled down... It's best keeping you people here. Yes. See, I was considering that, okay? I was considering that before he walked in here unannounced and accused me of infidelity. <laughs> infidelity? Yes. He mentioned Donald. You know Donald, don't you? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the guy at IMT, right? Yes. And you equally know that I've, I dumped Donald three months before I met Maxon. And so, since then, I've never set my eyes on him. So, how come? I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. For him to mention Donald's name is a twister. Well, well. You know, I've never ever mentioned Donald to him before. Oh, that is very scary. But the one thing I know for certain is there's another woman. <laughs> another woman? There's another woman in Maxine's life. Oh, come on. I, I think you're allowing your imagination to roam wild. Oh, come on, Christy. I wasn't born yesterday. I know the signs. No, but, but you're talking as if you, you, you don't know the husband you married. Uncle has got class. He got nothing to do with class. It has something to do with body chemistry. Um, but I'm sure for one thing, Maxine will never, ever in his life, willingly cheat on me like that. Unless... Unless what? Unless under a spell. Charm. Um, I, th I think I think your instincts are leading you astray. Uncle will not succumb to any of that. Y you, you know. I want to be absolutely sure. Christy, that's why I called you, to help me keep a close watch on him. Excuse me, please. Christy, 
Please take this money from me, okay? I know it's asking for too much, but I want you to help me find out if and if who. Please, Christy, please. I'll do just that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What would I have done without you? Thank you. to watch my husband closely. I don't think she's doing that. But, well, if you say so, I say so. Chrissy and I are more than friends now. And she do a very good job of the assignment. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I have to run along now. Well, thank you so much all the same. You're up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it. Just relax. <laughs> okay? So far, he's been a saint. Oh, don't worry. I, I'm actually getting very close to him in order to get, get out more information. No, 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 no. It's just a technique. Yeah, just my tactics, okay? Auntie, for you, I will go any mile. You mean to, you mean the world to me. Alright. Bye. Give me a kiss, darling. <laughs> Just one problem to another. Nothing to worry about. 
What's the problem? Hmm? Actually, um, for some time now, I've been noticing strange faces following me about in Port Harcourt. You know? The matter has really gotten to a level that I had to report to the police. <sighs> Honey, please, you have to be very, very careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. Yeah, I'm being very cautious about it. In fact, I am. You see, it's as if I knew and told you to remain here. Hey. Because I don't know what they want, whether me or you. That's why, you know, you're staying back in Enugu is, is okay. Please, honey, be careful. I, I will. I will. I'm trying. I, I, I won't let anything happen to me, but the important thing is that you have to remain here. Hmm? Let me sort this matter out, find out those behind it, then uh, when the coast is clear, you can now come over to Port Harcourt. The way they follow me about, I, I'm not comfortable. Uh, let it be only me. Eh? Let it be only me for now. I must find out who they are. So, Mama, how are you? I'm fine, my son. Apart from this romanticism, I can't even work very well with it. Has it started again? Mm. That means you need to get some treatment. Mm. My dear, what do you think? I think she needs to go to the hospital. Yes, I think so yeah, too. Yeah. This is 100,000 naira. Take it, go to the hospital and get good treatment for your rheumatism. 100,000 naira? Yes. 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira. Mom, mom, mom. It's love for you. Yes. God will bless you, my son. Oh, Chukukuzi. Mama, excuse me, baby. I, I want to see you by me. Eh. That is a fact, Mama. God bless you. Eh? God bless you. Mm. Mboka! Mama. Come, go, come, 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 come. <laughs> These are my sons. Oh, I see. Yes. Mboka has gained the admission into the university, but no money. Oh, really? Uh, you got an addition? Uh, yes, uncle. What course did they offer you? Mass comms, sir. Oh, mass communication. Well, uh, not to worry. I'll take care of your education. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This other one is uh, Ike. He has learned business, but no money to settle. I see. Mm. What line of business did you learn? Uncle, I learned uh, Tokumbo items like TV, fridges and radio players. I you see. see? You see the problems facing a poor widow like that? Eh? Well, um, I see. Our young man, do you think 500,000 naira would be enough to sort you out for now? Uncle, thank you very much. Uncle, thank you very much. Very, very much. God bless you, my son. Amen. 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 I'll give you the money within the week. Okay? Problems, problems. Hey, hello. Problems. Oh, ha. Problems, problems everywhere. Oh, yes. Eh? It's the wear of the world, you know. Mm -hmm. There's another thing. Uh -huh. uh, I borrowed 50,000 naira from the meeting I am part of. And I have to repay it within the week. I see. 50,000. Uh. All right. Um, just give me a minute. Uh. Give me one. Chris, thank you very much for bringing this kind of mind to our doorstep. 
I told you you're trying to teach me more. Never, never. Not anymore. something to remember. What about me? Relax, dear. You just wait until we get to Port Harcourt. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Love you. Take it easy. You know, life is not all about money. Look who's talking. <laughs> if he had not money, would you have married him? And who said I married him because of money? Left from you, Mizuki. Money is the master key. <laughs> oh, to you then. <laughs> Least I forget. Has he gone back? Uh, Your husband, of course. I saw him and Christy at Stella's wedding. Wow. They were gorgeously dressed. What are you saying? I expected to see you around when I was leaving. I thought maybe you might be at the ladies. But my husband didn't come home this weekend. He didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill. Wait a minute. I saw them. I saw them now. Kate. Mary. I don't know. I don't know. He didn't come back. He didn't come back. Anyway. Maybe. So, as I was saying. Money. Money is essential for everybody, you know. He didn't come home this weekend. That's exactly what you deserve. Um, they talk about Donald the other time. It was a joke, wasn't it? You wish. How can I joke with such a thing? Huh? Certainly, baby. I... Uh, listen, listen, listen. Uh, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I have my career to think about. I'll sort you out later. Honey, there is nothing to sort out. I never... Wait! Drop that topic right now. Honey, someone told me she saw you with Christy in a restaurant in Protocols. What? You now send spies after me? No, no. She, she just said she saw... Both of you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, she said she was hungry, and so I, uh, I took her to a restaurant to eat. Is there any crime in that? No. I guess that much. I only need her to confirm. Well, now you have your confirmation. It makes you feel good. And what's happening? This is unlike you. How? These days, whenever you call, you hardly ask about the kids. Mary, I'm a very busy man. I work hard. I work real hard. I work myself nearly to death to make sure that you and those kids don't starve. Oh, yes. 
talking about starvation. We need money. <laughs> That's all you know how we talk about. Money, 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 all the time. Honey. Don't honey me. Snap you, didn't I? I never doubted you. Good. So, Port Harcourt, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband has not been calling. Neither has he been visiting. Yet you are not bothered. Just look at you. What kind of a person are you? Mama, there is no cause for alarm. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine, eh? Mary. 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 Did I call you three times? Your husband has abandoned you. Who said? <laughs> Mama, my husband has not abandoned us. Just take a look at yourself. Take a look at yourself, Mary. You are six months pregnant. But look so haggard. Do you look at the mirror at all? Huh? Do you? Uh, Don't mama me. I am an adult. I can tell from the clouds when there is rain. Oh God. Mama, I don't understand. Why all these parables? How would you understand? How would you understand? Baby? You always think straight. Without looking in that way. You take things for granted. Mom, if you know that Maxim is your husband, then you have to go to Porta Court and meet him. Simple. Otherwise, be ready to lose him to other women. Huh? What kind of a woman would allow my husband to stay in Portacourt? Why things go wrong? Mama, I've tried to make him let us move in with him, but he has a very busy schedule. <laughs> busy. Mm -hmm. busy schedule. Busy schedule, Mary. It's not, it's not as if... Will you shut up and listen? If you don't love him, then you leave him! I know more than you. Darling, you're so wonderful. You've given me real meaning to life. Oh, listen, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just give me the license and I will change your entire focal orientation. What license are you talking about? You know you have me already. Yeah. I also have a barrier called a wife. So? Well, nothing to worry about. I mean, after all, I'm a real African man. Meaning? I can still marry a second wife, even without divorcing the first. 
So what point are you trying to make? My dear, that nothing will make me happier now than to marry you. Yeah. There's always a solution to it. Father, if there's any, why should I come here crying instead of rejoicing? Mary, you came to my office for a solution, didn't you? Look, why don't you calm down? Okay? Think about your unborn child. How can I? How can I when my husband has abandoned us? To the extent of not picking my clothes whenever I call. Is that so? Now tell me, when did this attitude of his develop? It's been long. I've been with this pregnancy since seven months now. He never cared to ask how I'm doing. He comes with one allegation or the other. My whole world is thinking we didn't drink enough for now. Oh no, no, maybe you don't have to talk like that. You're a child of God, remember? Or have you forgotten who you are? No, I've not. I've not. But something bigger than I has descended on me. Every day I keep hearing cock and bull stories about my husband. Just take a look at me. Just take a close and look at me. Each day I keep worrying and thinking about him, but he doesn't get to know how I'm doing with his children. What is going on? I don't know what to do. Don't despair, okay? Look, as a child of God, all you have to do is to cast your hope on him. I know for sure the enemy is at work here. But the good Lord, who has joined the two of you together through me, will never allow anyone else to take your husband away from you. That is if you believe. And if you believe it, say amen. 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 That's better. Come on. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Okay. Right. Thank you, Father. I have to go now. have to be managing with this for mm. just for some time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, my son. Yeah. Mama, why are you walking like this now? My daughter. I woke up two days ago. I started feeling this pain in my waist. Eh? Mm. Thank you, you, my son. Thank you for the thing you brought to me. You're welcome, eh? Mama. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Uh, it looks like you walk yourself hard so much. What can I do? You have to rest. Mm. Another thing, you must go to hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> no, uh... This is 20,000 naira. Mm. Go to hospital. Mm. Make sure you get a thorough checkup. Mm. Tukugose, huh? Oh, this is too much now. Eh? You don't have to empty your pocket because of me. Mama, it's not too much. You see, for now, your health is of utmost concern to me. Okay. Oh, Thank you. My dear, let me see. Can I go and see my wife? What is that? I won't waste time. In fact, maximum 30 minutes, I'll come back. Let me just show face. I'm waiting for
Please, I did not come here to seek your opinion. I only came to tell you to prepare for church and I'm married. But Christina, how, how, I, how are you going to cope? Eh? Having to share a husband with Mary, does she not? Care? It doesn't matter. Right now, who matters is Maxon. I'm on my right now. I am his woman. Oh, right now, you are his ward. And so was Mary. Well, Mary made a mistake that I will never ever live to make. Christy. <laughs> Christy. Listen to me. Oh, you come on. The game of life is a matter of experience. Things don't just come straight like that. No. Go the thing is spending so much money on you. I mean, on all of us without looking back. But still, I Mama, don't... please. My mind is made up. Okay. My mind is made up. My mind is made up. All right. If you say so. All I want is that everything turns out well. Eh? That's my own. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't have to keep showering and combing on me all the time. You see, if I don't do things for Christiana, who else will I do them for? Baby, I'll always be there for you. Yes, my dear. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, my son, this is Cecilia, my sister, and her sons, Arinze and uh, Emeka. Uh, if you will just do this one last favor for me, I will be very grateful. Very Mama, grateful. Christy, uh, Christy, my dear, yeah, relax, okay? Allow your mother to pay her views. I mean, this might as well be her opportunity, you know? It's all right. Mama, please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my son, for your kind heartedness. Thank you. As I said uh, earlier, <coughs> my sister Cecilia has been suffering for me. Since her husband died, falling from an uncompleted building, where they were carrying blocks. Since that time, since that time, even to eat has become a very big problem. Sometimes I even share the little, the little I have to them so that they don't starve to death. Look at her songs. They cannot even see well again. They cannot see clear. Why? Because they are hungry. Ago eh? Jiva. The worst is that even the, the, the man they are learning trade from, all of a sudden, from nowhere, his business went down. Up the point that the, the man himself cannot even get up again. Mm. Sad story indeed. Really, really sad story. Well, I fully understand everything I've just said, and uh, but then uh, that's life, and uh, we must carry on. Well, as for your sister and her sons, from now on, they will have nothing to worry about. Oh, you're so kind-hearted. But do you mean what you've just said? My dear, I mean every word that I just uttered. For you, Christiana, I will do anything. I will even pluck the stars from the clouds and stick them to your hair so that you'll be so bright that those in the dark will see the light. Oh, oh no, you, 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 did you hear that? <laughs> hey, Lord, hey, Lord. Yes. Oh, I know you can do that. Thank you. Sir. Hey, thank you. Uh, so when, when are you? Oh, no, no, don't worry. As soon as I leave this place with Christiana, when I feel very happy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> God will surely reward you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The man now. I told you. Sister. My sister, I've come to inquire. 
My husband said he was just being nice because of me. And the girl said that she was getting closer to my husband because of what I told her to do for me. Just listen to yourself. Mary, listen to yourself. You mean she told you all that lies and you took it lying who can sink her? <laughs> Why are you talking like this, Mary? Unless you want me to believe that there's something wrong with you. Asuka, why are you sounding like this? Because no woman, I mean no sane woman, will reason the way you're reasoning. Are you saying that I'm insane? I'm not said so, but you have to go and look for your husband. Long boy, my daughter, tell her. Maybe she will hear your home. I've been telling her to go to Port Harcourt and see her husband. But she's not making any effort at all. But Mama, I've already explained everything explained to you. Explained what? Eh? What have you explained? That your husband does not come home the way he used to. That he doesn't call again. Or that he has asked you not to come to Portacot. Tell me what you have explained, Mary. Tell me. Mama, please. Hey, hey, hey. You want Listen, let me tell you. That money you borrowed from me, eh? I need it. Oh? I need it. Mama, why are you behaving like this? Let it not pass this week. Mama, why are you behaving like this? Mary, I think you have to listen to your mother. She's more experienced. You have to go to Potako to look for your husband, whether he likes it or not. The other day you asked me what I intend to do for you, considering all I've been doing for your family, even your extended family. So? It set me thinking, really. And uh, since then, I've been wondering what I'll give to you that will impact on your day-to-day -day activities. Hmm. Yeah. After so much consideration, I finally came up with something, and, and I, I believe you like it. Hmm. I'm waiting. So, um, close your eyes. My eyes is closed. Open your hand now. Okay. Now don't look now. No, I'm not. You know it's a surprise, so don't mm -hmm. look now. I got a car for you. It's right outside. You took me to the boutique and you changed my whole wardrobe. And now I'll come for me! I'll do anything. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh my god, I won't believe it! I have a car! So yeah, I have a yeah, car! Everything for you. <laughs> Nothing so much, my dear. I love you, baby. I love you too, dear. Come give me some sugar, darling. <laughs>
Where do you look for? I'm looking for Maxen. I'm his wife from Enugu. Okay, yeah, well, that is my name. Right? Yeah, the Enugu Madam. Go. Yes. Yeah, well, what do you call? What do you call? What do you call? Okay, there is Kai. You know, from the Eta. There is Kai. He's where? Okay. There is Kai. Okay, there is Kai. How is good? No from your book. No problem. Hey, Enugu Madam. Hey. I know good, madam. I'm going for that Hey, I got it. This is a Hey, I'm going to Jane, I was telling you, I was warning you. I said you should let us talk to Christy, you know, Sammy. I saw it coming. <laughs> we should have spoken to her about this, this whole thing. Don't warn her. For what? Eh? Didn't she say she's the one on top? I beg, let us do in our own juice. Jane, do you know, I can just imagine the scenario right now. No, I don't want to imagine it. Do you know what that means? Why didn't you go with Mrs. Okori? go close to your husband. So I guess dating him was also part of my job. Christy, so dating my husband is not part of your job? I wasn't a fool to have sent you to him. You are the fool to have taken the advantage. Oh, please, Mary, let's not talk about foolishness here, okay? Mary. Christy, I am not Mary. Um. Listen, Mary, if I have to come in at this point, you see, I, uh, actually I've been trying to send messages and signals to you to understand that something is going on, but you failed to, uh, pick up the signal. Maybe the way it happened now is the best way to let you know that something is going on. I mean... Maxine, is there anything like shame in your dictionary? At this point, no. May I also let you know right away that Christy here will be my wife in the next uh, two weeks. Yeah. Yes, two weeks. I'm getting married to her in two weeks' time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh God of the oppressed, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammah, the Elohim and the God of the oppressed, until I come before thee believing that you will not leave me to go empty handed. Father Lord, please do with me whatever you please. Grant me peace in my home. Grant me peace in my so much. She suffered a lot of humiliation. You maltreated her so much. And that's why we are here. All this problem would have been avoided if you allowed reason. Eh? Just imagine. I was Mary suffered so much in your hand. That's what we are saying. I see. So, that is the reason why both of you left the things you oh, were yes. supposed to do and uh, came here to see me. Yes, yes. I see. Get out of my house. Huh? Maxim, said, get out of my house. Maxim, we are talking to him also. If you waste time, I will release the dogs. Out. Okay. I'll have of Kenya, Agadina, Agwofe. Mama, I don't know what to do. The world will laugh at me. When Azoka was telling me, I didn't listen. It's okay. It's okay. You have seen it. I was saying this. I was saying this initially, but you wouldn't listen. Hmm? If you think about all that, you will die before your time. The problem was that you overtrusted that your friend. You overtrusted her. Probably that she's a woman. But Mama, is it wrong to help somebody? I thought I was helping my friend without knowing that I was taking my grade. It's okay, huh? Wipe your tears. Let us thank God that they did not even kill you. Because I am sure that their next target will be to kill. But the God I am serving will not let that happen. So Christy is now living with my son in law. Hey! That relationship will not hold. It will not hold. As far as I'm serving a living God, it will not hold. My son, I am your mother. I have not come here to waste my time. I have come here to tell you that Mary here is the only wife you have. And she is the only one who recognizes. So, whether you are bringing in a Okeke or Okafo, that is your business, so, not ours. The way you are going about this whole issue is wrong. It's wrong. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody is going to force me to do what I don't intend to do. And that's final. Who is forcing you to do what you don't intend to do? Have you gone out of your mind? What has come over you? Mark, I am a woman and your only sister. How would you feel if my husband starts treating me the way you're treating you me? Evelyn, don't just go there. You hear me? Don't just go there. I can marry as many wives as I want. So don't even start complicating issues now. Who has done this to you? It's you that does something to me. Well, keep quiet. Well, I can see that you have really made up your mind. And that no amount of pleading will change it. Now listen to me. 
you have to be sending her a substantial amount through me and on a regular basis. Do you understand? Nobody will make me spend my money the way I don't want to. I will spend my money the way I deem fit. I can only give her money when I want. Yes. I can see that this has really gone off hand. Mary! Evening! Oh yeah, let's go. And in your own interest, don't bother to look for me because you cannot see me. Don't send anything because I will not touch it. Stay and eat your money. Mama, this eat your money. is wrong. It's wrong. Don't, don't, don't have Besides, it's getting late. Stay back, you go don't to... Don't worry, I'll take care of myself, okay? Please try not to forget. I'll be coming with my people on the 18th of this month for formal introduction and then possibly pay the bride price. How can I forget that uh, candle pit? Eh? It does not happen every day. Yes. I've already worked everything out. Oh, good, uh, good, good. You know, most of my friends uh, will be coming in from Europe, America, you know, abroad. Abroad? I don't want us to fail. Uh, I want not. it to be talk of the town. <laughs> it will be. So you use that 60,000 naira I gave you, mm. you know, rent canopies, good canopies, and then plastic seats. I don't want metal seats so that they don't stain people's clothes or even tear them. <laughs> And the plastic seats vary the colors, you know, maybe some cream, some white, some red, so we'll have beautiful color. Mm, yeah. And then the 50,000 naira mm, I gave you, yeah. I'll still give you more money for the main dish for the day. All right. But use the 50,000 naira to prepare local delicacies, mm. you know, what be. This year we'll prepare soup, you know, just uh, yeah, after wine. Uh, uh, when it comes to that, now we know what to do. Oh. Ah, trust me. I trust you. Trust me. Yeah. It's all right. Ah, it's okay. I'll, I'll see but, you. Hey. So, Hi. What is it? <laughs> What is it, Mama? Peno! Peno, my stomach! What is it? Hey! It's Osa. My Osa has come again. Eh? Oh I thought I have cured it. Hey! Hold on, hold on. Sorry. You have to go back to the hospital, Mama. Hold on, just, just hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Mama. Hey! Hey, what? See, eh? Take this 30,000 naira. Go back to that same hospital. Try and see the same doctor. Tell him that you have not been cured of this, your ulcer. Let him check you very well. Scan everything, all whatever they can do. I will do that. I don't want you to disgrace me on the day no, I'm coming with my people. I will not. 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 I will Okay. And try and rest. You work too much. So I'm going. Try and go to hospital. I will go. Mm -hmm. oh, hey. Oh, thank you. This is the kind of in law that I like. Eh? May your pockets never run dry. Just look at, look at, look at, look, look at 30,000 naira in my hand. Everything I have, this man will give to me. I don't know the kind of husband that this my daughter Dako married. Eh? It should have been this kind. that will be giving me more. Oh, 
no, I've left the office a long time ago. I'm on my way to your village, like we discussed. I'll be there in the next 40 minutes. I sure will. I will, and I'll um, try and prepare my favorite dish. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, honey. You know I always want to be... <laughs> His wife? Yes, Doctor. And uh, is he going to die? I would have thought the question should have been is he going to survive? Uh, they, they, they are the same thing. Uh, survive, die. What are his chances? You want the honest truth? Doctor, please tell me. At present, it's 95 to 5 percent of his survival. Hey. I will be certain in 10 days' time. Hey, God, what have I done to myself? Doctor, my darling husband, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell me? That he's not going to survive? I haven't said that, madam. Take it easy. I haven't said the situation is completely hopeless. But you haven't said otherwise. He's lying there unconscious. Just take it easy. This sinful thing, stop. This wicked thing, stop. It's undesirable. Stop, jealousy, stop, envy, stop, so undesirable. Maliciousness, stop, and greed, stop, cheating, stop, so undesirable. Undesirable. This thing, stop, this sinful thing, stop, this wicked thing. Stop, it's undesirable. Backbiting, stop, jealousy, stop, envy, stop, so undesirable. Maliciousness, stop, and greed, stop, cheating, stop, so undesirable. Undesirable. This thing, stop, this sinful thing, stop, this wicked thing, stop, it's undesirable. Backbiting, stop, jealousy, stop, envy, stop, so undesirable. abandoned him in the hospital. What an accident. So, coming from Christy, are you kind of surprised or something? 
I beg, I'm morning late for lecture, I beg. I guess I'll see you later. You're in the hospital. Just calm down. Relax. Where is Christy? Who is Christy? Who is he talking about? The lady you said came here the first day he was brought in. Oh, that lady. She came once to ask about your chances of survival. But that's not the main issue. What matters now is your health. Just calm down. Thank you, Dr. 
Did you see Christy? Um, brother, a lot has happened, but we thank God that you have come out of coma. Uh, I'll feed you in you know, later. What about uh, Mary? Where oh. is she? She just left two days ago. She went into labor, but she has been delivered of a bouncing baby boy. Relax, relax, okay? Oh, God. Yeah. What have I done? But it's okay, eh? We are no mortal. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Yeah. We are mere mortal, okay. brother. Hmm? What have I done to me? Okay. And we are prone to mistakes, eh? We can't afford you having a high blood pressure right now. Oh, man. She's perfectly okay. You see what Christy is causing? You see what Christy has done? It's okay, brother. It's alright. Are you out of your mind, my Sorry, you got sorry, sir. You talk too much. But it's okay, eh? has a hand in this whole matter. Yeah. It's okay, my son. Thank God you realize it now. Hmm? Today is still early. Yes. And brother, you know, I'll appreciate it more if you stop complaining endlessly on and on like that. It breaks my heart. After all, there's no perfect man in this life. Huh? All we need to do is when we fall, we rise up again, dust ourselves up. Hmm? And the struggle continues, okay? Open this gate! Kai, now who be that? Open the gate! Kai, who break the gate? Who, which person? Kai, who commands the gate? Hammer! Take a piece of the order! Kai, why you want to break the Your worker must marry my daughter, whether he likes it or not. Oh. He must marry this thing, you hear me? He must. Heads must roll in this compound, here and now. Go and tell your girl that he must come out here. Go and tell him, I cannot fold my hands and watch my sister die like that. Oh. He must marry her, whether in death or not. I have expected that on your phone. Oh, yeah. What's going on there? Don't press it, don't press it, don't press it. 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 Why are you there for mantle? Why are you there for mantle? That's a mama to the small mother where they here before. He that enter here with the blows and say he goes cast her every place. He could damage the whole house is what? What are they talking about? Can you say he go uh he, he take I out the Christy? That I must marry Christy by horse. That's a small mother where he then die. Let me go out to see that one. Relax. Hello? Yeah, DPO. Yes, I'm the one. I'm Max Nokori. Please, can you send me some policemen? Yeah, some people are besieging my house. I don't know what for. Please. Yes, number two off. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Why are you stopping me from going out to see that woman? Mama, it's all right. It's, it's all right. But I had to go. I don't want to. You must marry me, Christine, even in death. Come out here. He 
For whatever you say may be used as evidence against you in the court of law. And mama. Actually, I came to see the newborn baby. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, Father, what can I get for you? Well, a glass of water will do. Is that all you need? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> You're welcome, Father. Oh, thank okay. you. why I'm here. My dear Mary, I know that in your heart, he has done something unpardonable. But you see, the good book tells us to forgive in all things. And there's a portion of it that says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our brother Maxine may have done something that seems unpardonable. But Mary, you have to forgive him all the same. Thank God he has realized his mistakes. Yes. I deserve to be punished like a delinquent child. But to err is human. If you ever find it in your heart, if you ever desire to have me back, please do it in the presence of this priest. He was the one who once urged us to live together in peace and harmony till death do us part. I'm sorry. Please, no. The fault is not entirely yours. I take the whole blame. I should be the one pleading for forgiveness. From the onset, when this started coming, you never supported it. I forced you to support it. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't have been here saying all this now. I'm sorry, Maxi. Please forgive me. I will never again allow a total stranger to the family from. Please forgive me. My dear Mary, that was temptation. You see, in life, we meet temptation constantly. Why? so as to make us a lot stronger. You know, there's a certain joy that seeps inside of you when you overcome temptation. <laughs> now, this day, I urge you both back together in one indivisible unity to live happily 
in peace, never to separate again till death do you part. Amen. Friend. 